Oh boy. This is lethal. <laughs> Oh no! I get to do it again! I gotta make that meme again! You stopped that one, but what about the second one? <laughs> oh, I will reconsider. I I'm definitely reconsidering. What about the second one? <laughs> oh my god, it went through! Oh! <laughs> I wasn't supposed to record today, okay? I wasn't supposed to record, but this little piece of shit, this this piece of shit, Arthur C. Just kidding. This guy is a, a guy. He comments a lot. He subscribed. I, I really appreciate this man. Uh, thank you guys so much because I wasn't, <laughs> this, this comment, I was like, what the hell is this? I got these other comments. Thank you guys so much on the on the Christmas video, guys. Go check out the Christmas video as well. I'll leave a link, uh, not in the description. It should pop up on the upper right if I remember to do it. I probably won't. Anyway, someone told me to do Sejuani Jin, and this is how. Hold on, hold on. Can I can I show you guys? Ah, uh, no. Okay, so it wasn't the full thing there, but I, I went down to this Sejuani Jin. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck I do Sejuani Jin. This guy asked me, is this version or Lucky Cad's version? So I had Lucky Cad's video open and I was kind of doing the comparison. But then I read this one and this motherfucker here says, okay, there's a way to get a lot of impact keywords. Put a board, put on board a Nakatak and as many curious changelings as possible. Play a shady character copying the Nakatak. At this step, you should have 10 to 15 total impact keywords. That's a super board, by the way. But, and then he says, play another shady character and Hexec treads magnifiers to copy the Nakatak that has the most keywords. And with this, I've reached 20 impact on a single. If you never find Nakatak, then hope that they play a big follower like a Darken and get six copies of it with your changelings and shady characters. I played with Zana Erkin, Nora, her, her two cost follower, in order to keep cheap early blockers that can easily uh, be targets for Hexec Transmogrifier. And now I actually forgot to read this last part. I read this first part and it immediately just went straight into Rutera. I was like, there's no freaking way. There's no way that that works. Then I went into a bot game, and this is just my reaction after the bot game. It actually does work. So, <laughs> it actually does work. It actually is interesting as shit. This was the first iteration that I made. I went a little bit harder to paint. I'm, I'm gonna take out the Yoda Captain. He did, I did absolutely nothing. So we'll probably do his suggestion and put some more early followers in it. But pretty much what happens is that Chief Nakatak is when an ally transforms fully heal it and grant it plus one, plus one and impact. So if you just keep copying this, what he's pretty much saying is that copying Chief Nakatak will then the next copied a transformed unit will then do that and then it just starts to stack upon each other pretty much you're going to try to have a board of pure chief nakotak that's what i did in the first little ai game that i did i made a couple of them and then i started to stack the highest i got was like 14 i think it was 14 or 12 or something like that it's actually stupid uh so you just have a couple early followers and then when you get what you want you do that i actually it was like well just in case it didn't work let me add an amenity because you will still have impact. And as I was replying to him, I, I don't know if you guys were reading that part of it, is that impact was is meant to be on a bunch of small followers, right? You're supposed to chip and whittle them down. That's kind of the aspect, that's kind of the thought process behind it, right? But it, there's, just, there's just not enough of it in the game. Even if I, this is, and by the way, even though I'm only have uh, Banal City, there's really not too much impact in the game. Like as far as like, oh, maybe I could put him in there, but he's, he's too fat. Um, and these characters, does he have impact? Maybe his, yeah, his big version has impact. This one gives impact if, it, if a trap triggers or something like that. There's not really too much of it consistently in the game or uh, to be its own viable deck. Like, you know, this early, like, there's an elusive deck. Elusive can be in a viable deck. But this is the first time I've ever seen, yo, impact is viable here. And it, it, it almost makes me wish that I didn't have to necessarily run into to PNZ. Then maybe I could do like void gate shenanigans. And then you would have this, like what I was saying before, if you can stack impact with the void gate, it would be absolutely nuts. So it's basically like he was saying. So what he did is that he wanted to even use more portal stuff. So I took out three of those. I'll put the two costs because I don't want to go too heavy because all these other characters, all these other units I have are pretty heavy. We want a lowish curve, a hundred percent. I would even maybe go Otter Puss too, just to kind of fuck with their hand a little bit. I, I'm, as you guys know, after I did the prank video, I'm definitely a big fan of prank. <laughs> I could even go with this um, because transforming, uh, this thing transforms, right? And then it would get impact. It wouldn't even be that bad of a thing. And you are running duplication stuff. 
you definitely are running a lot of duplication stuff and i hope that i can get it in a couple games i i, I might even it might be a one and done honestly if i can just get it to pop off once on video it's that cool it's that cool but yes uh these is one of the, uh, you guys know sometimes i do viewer decks you, if you guys have a concept leave it in the comment section i will i look at all my comments legit and if i find something that's extra spicy with no milk or water around i will definitely do it <laughs> what the hell all right next up is going to be braun vladimir not exactly sure if uh this archetype was revisited I'm gonna do a full mulligan here okay changeling Change ling 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 ling. All right, we just need Nako Taco Taco. We need Nako Taco. Uh, but Braum Vladimir, I'm not exactly sure how that deck runs now. It is cool to see like slight upgrades to this because you got Spirits Unleashed. You have a, a bunch of things that you don't. I don't even know if you actually need Scar Grounds in this deck anymore. A decent board plus Spirits Unleashed auto levels uh, would auto level uh, Vladimir. If you played a bunch of like one drops on curve. And then you play the other, the, the Crimson Bird thing, and Vlad's like auto levels, drop him on five. Could be something spicy. Goes for the open attack. I don't care. All right, let's see what we got. Nako Taco! Nako, Nako Taco. Yes. All right, so we can. We can get super greedy here. I can go changeling. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Okay, you do that. Let's see who who can uh, bullshit quicker. I think we go changeling here though. Yeah, he's gonna probably get that. So he has he's getting monsters at, at the very least. That just accelerates everything pretty good. We take. Uh, damage. Uh, probably sacrifice the lizard. Okay, he has the nuts curve here. He has the nuts curve. I repeat, he has the nuts curve, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, I'll just throw this away, pretty much. It's just like, and you know what's funny? Like Scar Grounds was definitely complained about, but like, a good landmark is a good landmark, you know. So there he goes. I can't really block him. That gives him another card in his hand. He'll just have a bunch of ammo. But, uh, and I also get fully healed. I can't risk knock attack, but I can technically risk, um, I can technically risk this, technically, just to mitigate some of the damage. Cause he could have uh, the blood thing if he really wanted it. Um, he also could have, uh, what is it, bluff a blood? Okay, there we go. That is perfectly fine. All right, so I could actually use the, the discreet invitation, but I'd rather not. We go straight up into it. We actually bank some mana, so the discreet invitation is a little bit easier. So he could uh, kill this off. There's not other many things. Oh, baby, he lets me get it off. All right, already with just that play, five, seven, nine, five in the building Be grateful, I even so yeah some little gusto in there we don't actually need to do anything though um to be completely honest he has a bunch of these cards so he can keep playing on top of it on top of it but my goal is to just uh <laughs> my goal is to legitimately just uh keep stacking them so we'll take what we need to survive i'm sure um next time we play our other uh shady character okay so he has the vladimir that's a lot of mana dump that he has right there but we can block vlad um and he could definitely do a lot of pressure which i'm perfectly fine with honestly All the way up to nine. Let's 14. The 
All right, so that one does automatically. I mean, this this card is definitely expediting this deck like really hard, which is pretty cool. It's nice to see it. Um, we just need to not die, obviously. I have to block everything, it seems. Okay. Lose one unit. Like, he doesn't have much mana to like do anything crazy. Actually, you know what would have been crazy? Would have been nuts is, uh, okay. Is if he had uh, the other card, uh, Blade or Ice Shard, I think would have been nuts. Okay, so I do lose my big guy. Unfortunate. It could have been an argument to actually try to kill off his Vlad. I think that would have been a decent argument there. Okay, we got the transmog. I like transmog because um, it actually gives you like a, it actually like gives you like a burst. Uh, I'm sorry, I always say burst speed, but like a fast speed of doing it. Um, okay, so he definitely doesn't have like any of the small pings. Like, I, you know what the other card I was thinking about is Death Lotus. That was the other card I was thinking about. 13 damage, 15 damage. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. We, and we can do it one more time. Is this lethal? No, I <laughs> oh boy. This is lethal. <laughs> What's wrong, my guy? Yes, we've done it, Nora. Bro, I already know people are gonna hijack this deck. Yo, shout outs to Art to C one more time, bro. One one time for the one time. This is just a, a awesome deck. You saw I had exact lethal, and even though he killed off the one that like the big one that I had, I could have kept making them. And the only way you can stop that is like a free, I mean free silence. And I again I wanna I kinda wanna have that at least do that once. Just to like really fuck with someone. Oh baby. Look at that curve. You got the curves, baby. All right, so we're, we're in a good spot here. Oh, we even got it raw. We we you know we got the, the lesser version of it, so. Definitely want to have one little fucker out there just because, you know. Now, this deck does suck because he's going to have access to Vengeance. Uh, he could actually Quietus. He could Quietus this and Quietus that. He can Quietus everything the cat in the hat. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm super excited. All right, boom. Three damage, and it, again, this is just a really cool uh, like thing. Like as soon as he as soon as he was typing it, I just was like, Ooh. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. This thing gets lowered, but if he's gonna blow a card, I'd rather him blow. Uh, okay, we got double Nakataco. There it is, wasted, wasted. I love it. Um, I think it's. Smart? Is it smarter though? If he has, if like, if he draws into Quietus, I rather him, I rather him do it on this, right? Um, I just don't want him to know what I'm doing yet. Though, actually, I think throwing this out there is a little bit more scarier because you really don't know what it is. Okay, cool. I can now copy either or. I'm, I'm good to copy. I do feel like he has Quietus though. Okay. That into. I'm not attacking or anything. I actually couldn't attack with the 2-4 if I wanted to. All right, so this thing gets weakened uh, by a lot. He's not applying any crazy pressure, which is really good, obviously good for me. Um, ends the turn, okay. I could transform this if I want to. I actually have the mana. Uh, Discreet Invitation into the three cost shady character is a thing. Okay. I don't need to save this, honestly. Ah, 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 ah. I have another one, sir. Actually, I have more than you think. <laughs> Thanks to mana here. Um, like, his deck definitely is gonna cut. Wow, Nako Taco is here! I don't know why my voice just cracked like that. That was insane. All right, let's, let's get the party going. I actually, 
I feel like that's actually bad timing, right? Because um, he could actually kill this, right? Or maybe, okay, he, I don't think he knows what I'm, what's going on, so. It is my attacking turn, so I can't apply pressure. And now he could just kill this if he wants to. Why are you running that? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, but this could have been Viego, you know? There have been so many other things. Uh, I think we attack with these, apply some pressure on him. Uh, obviously, I could have developed another Nako talk first and ended it. No real reason to do that, in my personal opinion. Uh, he could have, uh, what is it? Six damage. <laughs> Four free, but he heals three back. We're going to bank the mana here. Uh, reason being is because I, I, if I, if he does have something, I can then um, transform this into this one. Okay, I, I you, you know when you like fight against somebody and you just feel like, oh, I won the battle, but um, is is this is, am I missing something? Is, is this guy got some 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 spice, some spice of life that I'm unaware of? I mean, they do heal him back a, a decent amount, right? So, 11 mana. Her uh, Ruination, I think, is 9 or 10. So, I technically need to open attack here. Or else, I, I, or else I'm pretty much playing into Ruination. I do threaten lethal here, so he has to respond in some way. I should have put this uh, all the way to the left. This He's, he's keeping himself alive, so I guess I really can't complain about it, but uh, I, I did order this wrong. How is this attack going through? I guess I just want to test this gangster at this point. That's lethal. <laughs> you better have something, man. There's no way. There's no way you have nothing. Vengeance, something, please. Like, I, I, I feel bad. Okay. That should save it, okay. I unfortunately have no way to, be, like I would prefer to, so he just has a bunch of healing. Um, and that's also gonna trade, what other thing is dying? Okay, so I'm losing two of them. I think I'm gonna go, I unfortunately don't have enough to, to, to play another one. I will take another um, Nakotak though. Maybe I should have saved mana to just Manatee. I always have the option of Manatee though. He's gonna lose three heals though. We do still get the, the portal. All right, that was a really good trade for him. Uh, I unfortunately will not play this because uh, I feel like, <laughs> I feel as though it would be stupid. Great blocker here. I could just throw this out. Ledro's deck. Okay. I mean, that's kind of annoying, but not really. Puka, puka. Puka, puka. So, I could transform him into me, but what if I, actually, I want to try something. Oh, wait, wrong way. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, I did it correctly there. There we go. <laughs> all right, and then we just attack all the way to the left. He can play Ledros again, but he'll only do five damage to me. Okay, we got Lava Cakes. Don't know how good or bad that's ordered. He could have other spells. He looks like he's probably running uh, Grassy and dying. He has, he has, he has spells. Um, I just need like some damage to go through. That's all. I also could have just transformed it so his Ledros would be gone. But I think that he's just looking to kind of play it over. But that's a weird deck. I, I don't know if the Nivea Trendemir was just it's like a bluff. You know, some people some people actually do do that. Okay, look at that. look how much damage he mitigates by that. That's 16 damage on a unit. 
All right, so now you get to play something. Could be a Nivea. If it's a Nivea, I'm gonna die laughing. I'm sorry. Some more AOE, okay. He, he dissolved my entire board. I still have my portal. I'm gonna develop this to force him to do something first. Because if, I don't wanna, uh, I, I could do it here. One, it gives me a blocker for this. Thank you. Uh, like, I, I want him to like ruinate or something like that. I don't want him to like spend any of his mana. If that makes any sense. Cause if I, if I were to, okay. What are you hoping to do with that? It, it, it just gives you a random minion though. Okay. <laughs> My blade calls. I could do this. Six damage. This is technically the same, right? Even less damage. Interesting. Oh, because it's... Okay. Then I'm just down to five. That's fine. What spell you got now, buddy? You're losing your boy. 100% though. It's cool. Like, I, I, at least the way I've made it is like I have like other win cons. Oh. <laughs> Even your other friend is gone. Again, I can't develop. Um, if I develop, he can ruinate me. <laughs> Maybe? I think, doesn't he block these? He's, he's done, he's done, he's done, he's done. He's done. <laughs> that means he doesn't have those big cards that I was worried about. Oh, baby. See, I knew I should have stopped. I should have stopped. Why didn't I stop? Why don't you guys make me stop? It's like you guys don't want me to have a good time. All right. Um, though I do think that they don't have much interaction, but they do have bounces, right? So they, I think I just lose because they have, uh, they can just recall one of my built up things. I just, I gotta, I guess in this scenario, I have to hope that they, um, what could you they don't have it. Me? That, and this is especially worse because he's already getting draw. Because this deck definitely runs a flow. There's too much, um, whatever that flow card, the flow recall that destroys uh, equipments. It's just really good to, oh, look at that. It's, it's gonna be so screwed. All right, um. I would love to, this is just a crappy hand. Four damage though, pretty good. I don't know if he's gonna try to play that. I don't know, okay. I like this, this card, I think I'm starting to realize how good it is because it is strike. So like, even when I block on their next turn, I, uh, I can get some things for it. So it's, I, I'm starting to see like the actual good of it. Okay, Fall of Feline makes me think that this deck is goofy. It's it's not as, it's not as uh, crazy as I initially may have thought it was. I think I wanna um, get these lizards online. Not with changelings, not my changelings though. I, I kinda wanna still hope for the dream. Um, but open attack here. I can also see an argument for getting uh, getting Gnar in the deck. Cause Gnar not only has the transform mechanic, but he also has, uh, he also has what's him called? What am I trying to think? He has uh, poker sticks, there we go. Poke Steps can help me get uh, additional draw. There we go. The spirit gives to those who listen. Dark and Staff did his job. All right, play the Junk Construct. He's now at flow. He's never gonna let it go. But we get some good guys here. And they also, oh, they also have impact. I actually didn't know if they had impact. <laughs> We're bricking hard as hell. 
Brick hard, brick hard. Make a building, make a building. All right. Um, I mean, if it gets to the point where I, I, I throw out the ball sack, I, I think that, it, you know, it is what it is. Where there is light, yeah, he's comfortable. There is this man is comfortable to do that. That is a very comfortable thing to do. And it's funny because he can attack with the stupid thing and I can't do anything, which is kind of nuts. If he attacks with this, I think he should technically just to heal, heal himself. And I'm going to take that so I can get a portal. It's sad when you can drop karma on five. I don't even think he hesitated. There was like no hesitation on that. He was just like, yeah, you know, it is what it is. He doesn't have anything. Hopefully his hand gets cluttered by him playing this. I'm hoping like he has chunky spells. Okay. Okay, buddy. All right. So we pressure the karma player, of course, with damage. Two more turns, I guess. And then we just stop dropping sacks on them. <laughs> just, just start dropping sacks. By force of will. We might win, uh, we might win. And look, that's how confident he is. I mean, he also could have defensive spells, but I'm not really, I'm not really doing anything, so. And it's all over. Is everything here? I mean, I like how Karma's level up is six out of 10, that's funny. Uh, flash bombs, knowing his shit. He's just chucking them out there to empty his hand. His hand, his hand space is very important. I would have maybe saved that. Maybe save that for Karma being leveled up after you dump other cards in your hand. Or maybe once, uh, what's some calls there too, Seraphin? Uh, don't want to put these on anybody, really. Okay, here we go. Hand is full. He's about to unload on me. I just hope that it's... I hope that... I hope that he's gentle. Oh, no, my changeling. Bro, if I could just draw... I mean, I've drawn nothing, so there's a high possibility... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I, I guess we trade that. I need room anyway. I mean, the RNG is already way too high. So, so I'm hoping for, so his hand is full right now. So my only thing that I could technically hope for is that I could drop balls and then like copy it with all the changelings. Um, I also, like, even if I draw a knock attack, I don't have the things to transform him. So it's just a slow, irritable thing. I just have to hope that a lot of these cards just aren't, like I said, that one recall card that's going to make my, um, boom, there he is. He's already blowing cards. Enter the ball sack. We have achieved ball sack super uh, supremacy. I mean, I, I have to go for broke. There's not much that I can do here. Okay. His hand's staying full. He, that's the problem. He's playing cards that generate cards. So this one, you just kind of have to go for broke. Now, every um, everything that I use here... Okay, stuns. I mean, I can't do anything about that. Okay. What about this one? You better get that recall card, Karma. Attacking because I get mana back and then I, I can area of improvement. Gets rid of this. He probably thinks I, I'm just gonna make a big old ball cox. That's what he thinks, but he doesn't know. I I, I gotta I actually have to keep this in my hand for pressure, <laughs> so, so I can pretend that I have this super play coming up. But I I really don't. Luckily, he's getting a bunch of good cards. My next attacking turn, unfortunately. Oh, oh no. Oh Lord Jesus, no. Guys, no. I also could take one of his uh, monsters as well too. He also he could have deny. 
Uh, so there's a there's a chance that this doesn't go through at all. But I do have two chances at it. So <laughs> let me be your wings. Oh uh, wait, uh, should I? No, I need the mana to 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 copy it, or else I won't be able to drop two of them. Oh my God, Becky! Look at her butt. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I get to do it again! I gotta make that meme again! You stop that one. <laughs> oh, I will reconsider. I I'm definitely reconsidering. Oh, he's going for broke. That's for you. The other thing, no, the other thing will be technically free. Only a few days till the show. I got this. What about the second one? <laughs> oh my God! It went through. Oh. <laughs> That's burst. You don't win though. I have 15, 21, like what, what card in that deck? <laughs> Get fucked on. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God. What does this just happen? We just beat a super meta deck with a Dead ass hand. So we didn't even draw a knock attack there. So we just decided to. I mean, we we I showed off the the one off of the mini tee, and we showed off ball ball cocks <laughs> in the building. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, Arthur C with the fucking deck, man. I I was I was tired. I was so tired, like like physically tired. Like I wanted to go to sleep. But this this deck is keeping me alive. And I know you got. Oh my God, please share this deck, bro. Share this deck. Let them know Jinx did nothing wrong, and your boy Arthur C. Uh, d did something magical today because this is insane. I, I do think that you could uh, switch like this. I don't know I just <laughs> I just it's a decent blocker plus it can add impact. I, I don't know I, I think you could definitely uh, switch some of these for more meta or more um, Maybe more removal more draw PNZ has draw like both of these uh, regions have draw too. So like It's definitely oh, oh my god uh, time trick would really be good Like I actually would take out blast bone ceiling for time trick uh, just because of uh, predict the, to predict and to see something and being able to do that. You also have stuff like, I mean, cop, there's other copy stuff in here, but eh, eh, uh, uh, Hidden Pathways is pretty good, uh, but you don't really create anything in this deck outside of uh, if, if Nora keeps going. I think that they, they consider like the portal stuff, creations, like when they get, uh, but that's really about it. I, I think that <laughs> I think if the deck work phenomenally. And I do think that there are other things that you could use, utilize this archetype, the archetype of uh, transforming. There's probably something else. There's probably a hidden, another hidden gem in here. And like like uh, most decks, just there's other things. You just, you just gotta find it. You just gotta find it. And I hope that you guys found this video awesome. Like, comment, subscribe, share, please. People need to see this thing. This is insane. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace, my guy.